Hi guys, my name is Niall Horn and this is the making of my latest real flow shot, Space Pyramid Rise. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made the shot in real flow as well as the composite in lighting and rendering side of stuff. So these are the final shots. Uh, this version here has the sky dome removed so you can see the spray more clearly. Uh, here are the player blasts, uh, previews from real flow. We have the core fluid and the hybrid or secondaries as well as a spray secondary and the camera point of view. So the inspiration came from the OLF commercial that uh, Important Looking Pirates did, the visual effects studio, uh, I think from Sweden. Um, you can see here they have this awesome shot of the pyramid rising out the ocean and I wanted to try and recreate that in real flow. Uh, but not a direct copy, I wanted to make a space pyramid. You can see I really like this shot because of the spray. Uh, it's a nice misty spray. So next was on to the creation of the surface bubbling. The surface bubbling is when the uh, a, what a large object is rising towards the top of the surface. You get bubbling on top from the bubbles pushing upwards. So I wanted to create this effect. So uh, I used fume effects to create a basic smoke simulation uh, of a smoke puff rising up. And you can see that the setup's really simple. It's just a uh, basic particle emission 3ds Max that's driving a really low res fume sim, and it's rendered from a top-down camera, as you can see here. And the smoke dissipates quite fast. So this um, this is the render, and then this is piped into a ocean force field in RealFlow 2014 to create the velocities uh, in the hybrido simulation, which you can see here. Okay, so these are the final renders. You can see the smoke on the left, and that's driving the ocean force field, and you can see it affecting the surface. So now I'm going to show you the real floor scene. Before we go into real floor, I just want to show a quick creation process of the actual space pyramid. The space pyramid is just the nickname I give to it. Um, you can see it's basically a pyramid, which is using uh, the Rayfire Voxels modifier, then some chamfer on top of this, and then this is actually using the Griebel modifier, um, by Max Clanky to create the agreeable effect. The actual uh, pyramid in real floor uh, doesn't have it on, it's obviously just for our simulation. So this is the real floor scene. Um, you can see we have the main hybridometers, all the demons and the uh, hybrid or secondary emitters. You can see a lot of the demons are just specific to each emitter, using lots of wind in there and uh, some noise fields to create the nice pans in the spray. Um, you can see we have the ocean force field uh, demon and obviously just showing all the, um, the secondary emitters. So the scale itself of the scene is uh, quite big but then again it's not as big as it could be. So I'm using gravity to kind of fake the scale, low gravity uh, obviously to make the fluid behave as if there's a huge space pyramid or pyramid rising out the ocean. You can see the container edge here, obviously we're using a container emitter set up with a hybrid or open domain. So the secondaries, which I'm going to cover next, were a big part of the process. Um, these are the main hybrid secondaries um, using the hybrid or SPH emitters, mainly with dumb particles. And you can see the emitters themselves aren't producing enough spray uh, like we saw in the reference, which I wanted to create. So I actually ended up using a real flow standard object emitter, which is uh, actually using the actual space pyramid to emit the uh, dumb particles from, and then we're using wind and noise to drive this. So when we actually uh, render these, we get really nice spray. Uh, we also have a mist pass in here, which is the same spray sim rendered through Krakatoa with voxels, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and you can see it creates a really nice spray effect. The actual fluid mesh itself is actually clipped off because um, obviously water at that scale and that velocity would be mist and spray rather than in a like more mesh-like state. Okay, so the white water rendering, the actual spray pass was rendered in uh, V-Ray Proxy through V-Ray Proxy Alembic. So I stitched my Alembic files together and used V-Ray Proxy. I also rendered the same pass through uh, PRT Krakatoa and used Krakatoa voxels to create the uh, mist. If we just go in the Krakatoa settings, you can see using Krakatoa uh, the voxel rendering and it creates a really nice mist pass using the actual spray pass that we used through V-Ray, Alembic Proxy. And if I just set a render off here, you can see the really nice like 
Soto missed which I was using comp and it really does add to the shot and obviously water at that uh, scale and velocity would be a, a missed spray state rather than um, like fluid mesh. So this is the second, these are the hybrido emitters and these are actually being rendered through Krakatoa altogether and the lighting setup is trying to match the HDRI which is lighting the main uh, fluid mesh and the V-Ray proxy um, spray simulation. So next is the mesh. We're using V-Ray and Frost and Krakatoa. So we're using Krakatoa PRT to import the particles from real flow of the hybrid or domain and using Frost to mesh uh, using the Zoo and Bridson um, algorithm. You can, here, you can see here the mesh is uh, sliced off obviously because the spray simulations will take over and the mist simulations. You can see I'm just using a basic slice in 3ds Max to cut the fluid mesh off at that height. I didn't actually do um, uh, radius by velocity. These are the materials, um, just the ocean shaders, the HDRI light in the scene. Okay, so this is the composite side of things. See I have quite a messy comp at the minute in After Effects. Um, this is the fluid mesh comp using the V-Ray fluid mesh pass. This is the velocity comp uh, for the white water um, velocity pass. And you can see here we're using a V-Ray extra text max uh, map and a V-Ray refraction pass. And then these are added to the main fluid mesh comp to get the velocity shading. This is the extended ocean pass um, which is using the same ocean modifier on the fluid mesh. This is the white water comp using the mist pass, the spray pass through V-Ray Lemon Proxy and also the foam and bubble passes from uh, Krakatoa. Obviously this is the uh, main comp. Um, pretty simple comp itself because it's using lots of subcomps, pre-comps. You can see the breakdown here. We actually start with a real ocean and sky and then I'm using my extended ocean and my fluid mesh and comping them in because it's nice to actually have the real ocean on the horizon. This is the comp on black which I showed you at the start. So these are the final shots. Uh, I'm going to go over them again. Obviously this is the main shot with the sky dome, uh, all the spray and the ocean horizon in. These are the main player blasts again. These ones are sped up by 40%. Obviously we have the car fluid, the hybrid or secondaries, the spray and the camera view. This is the uh, the ocean bubbling. And these are the main secondary render passes. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. I've tried to go as quick as I can over the making of. Big thanks to Next Limit for the work on real flow and for letting me do this uh, to kind of show the breakdown. If you want to find out more, you can visit my blog and my Vimeo page. And I think it's time for me to work on an even more ambitious real flow project. So thanks again for watching guys.